Tonight's GOP debate might be worth watching for once since the usual star Donald Trump has decided to play hooky. Keep an eye on Ramaswamy, the underdog gaining ground on frontrunner DeSantis, this could be his chance to break out while Trump's on a powder break. Well, turns out Biden's incentives for foreign investment are working, sort of. The new tax breaks and manufacturing incentives have seen a shift in the nature of foreign investments more towards the factory sector. So multinational corporations, come over, just don't expect the overall investment to boom. In his best impression of a global liberator, China's leader Xi Jinping is cozying up to Africa, promising to amplify the voice of poor nations. Packaged as a Western counterbalance, it seems like an engaging sequel to the yoke of colonialism saga. In a turn of events more befitting a high school gym than the political arena, long-shot Republican hopeful North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum racks up more than political points playing basketball, he notches an ER visit and a questionable debate appearance. Nothing like a sports injury to spice up an election, right folks? Oh the irony, firefighters supposedly contain a brush fire in Lahaina, Hawaii, then took off leaving it unattended. Not surprisingly, eight hours later, the same location was engulfed by a wildfire. How about we rethink our definition of contained, shall we? So Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis is seething after his debate strategy for the 2024 campaign went public right before the first debate. Apparently, the instructions were so simple he felt patronized, now he's stepping into the debate trying not to look like a puppet. Oh the drama! In a delightful turn of events, Rudolph Giuliani, former Trump's personal lawyer, is all set to serve some time, planning to surrender in the Georgia election case indeed. Oh the drama, known for peddling false claims of the 2020 election theft, it seems a trip to Atlanta jail awaits him. In a stunning display of structural prowess, a bridge still under construction in Mizoram, India, decided to prematurely introduce itself to gravity, tragically killing 17 workers. Meanwhile, the state and railways ministry engage in a rigorous game of who's in charge of the rescue. Greece might just be setting a horrific world record with its most widespread wildfires ever. Thanks blazing heat, over 350 fires in just five days turning Greece from a paradise into a dystopian dystopia. Talk about a tourism nightmare. Oh look, Ukraine decided to deliver a wake-up call to Russia right at its doorstep. Moscow received drone gifts for the six days straight, and a warm welcome was also extended to a Russian village near the Ukrainian border that unfortunately left three dead. It's game time in the political arena, with hopefuls literally wearing their personalities on their sleeves. Meet the clever politicos turning debates into meme-generating machines and viral moments into merch. Campaigning now means more than speeches, it's about who has the snappiest catchphrase on a t-shirt. In a dazzling display of gender progress, the all-male South Carolina Supreme Court has upheld the state's new six-week abortion ban. This apparently unexpected ruling reverses a prior decision and patiently explains that women don't need rights like privacy. Get ready for a circus as the Republican presidential primary contenders get in the ring for their first debate of 2024. Expect a buffet of exaggerated claims and misinformation on everything from inflation to immigration. And who knows, maybe we'll even get the perfect zinger from an underdog. Stay tuned. Challenge accepted, says Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, gearing up to outshine Donald Trump and promising to eradicate leftism and discard woke ideology. Is this a political makeover or just another ambitious claim? Only time will tell. Get ready for some sizzling political chatter, folks. The first 2024 Republican presidential primary debate hosted by Fox News is launching in Milwaukee, offering an intriguing twist, no opening statements, oh and don't blink. Candidates get just 60 seconds to spit out answers and a lightning fast 30 for follow-up responses. Welcome to the speed dating version of politics. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to get your daily dose of news.